All right, time for Terrace. Here's how this goes. So we just arrived. We just had a conversation with Karth, and everything's all good. So first thing we want to do is we have two swords in our inventory that we want to equip. So well, how I do that is I hover over the offhand, and I go enter, down, enter, enter, down, enter. And that equips both the swords in the spots that they need to be. All good, like that. And once that's out of the way, you can just hit your equipment menu button, so that's you by default, to close it. Alright, so we're going to run up to the door and click it. And just be ready to click OK right here. And it's a hard buffer. One save. You only need to do one quick save for that one. So you click the door, add car, load, save, click in the corner. And like all our hard buffers, it's enter, enter, enter. Now, the time for probably toughest trick in the run. Yeah, I could say that's fair. Um, the Skeleton Fake Level Up, or Skelly Flu for short. This is a trick that I discovered with some help from Hotshot. Uh, how long ago is it now? It's probably like six months ago at this point. It's been a while. Anyway, so yeah. There's a few different options for how to do this. Uh, like That is which levels you choose to handle for it. I like to uh, Skelly from 1 up to 10, and then do the Fake Level from 10 to 11. Then Skelly to 13, and then fake level from 13 to 14, and then finally Skelly to 16, and finally take a real level at 17. So, I'm going to show you how we do that. So first of all, we need to do an AMG. So I've mentioned this before, but I'm actually going to give you a proper little AMG tutorial right now. So, how AMG works is you save and Alt F4 at the same time. And actually, I did it so slowly because I was explaining it, but the idea is it's like so. So I hit F4, and then I hit Alt F4 while it's going. Of course, your save may not be bound to F4, but regardless, it's save, Alt F4. And doing this allows us to open and close the menu. And so now, I can unpause and run around with the Do You Really Want to Quit menu up. And this lets us do a ton of different things, and we'll get to all of them soon. But the first thing we're going to be doing with this is <clears throat> our fake level up. So the way you do a skelly level is whenever you're on this screen, you hit enter to select cancel and level up at the same time, like so. And you know you've done it right if you have this uh, cursed level up where all the level options are missing. And of course, once you're in here, we have full control of our keyboard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to immediately hop to our next level by going AMG, escape once, and it's enter, enter and however many times you need to hit enter. And it varies how many times rather than that you've gotten granted feet that level. So let's just kind of do some levels. AMG, escape, enter, enter. AMG, escape, enter, enter. AMG, escape, enter, enter. All right, now here we are at level 10. So what we could do is we are going to uh, do a quick AMG and hit escape once. And so now the way you do a fake level, and so this may not be necessarily a 10 at you if you're deciding to do the levels 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 version instead, but regardless, what you're going to do is you're going to click cancel, click level up, and then you're going to go tab, escape. And by hitting escape, I can now go enter, enter, up, enter, 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 click OK, enter, click close, tab. So that was a lot, and I'm probably going to redo this in a second to take us through it all again. But essentially what I did there is I started the level up and swapped the car, took the feet we needed, and finished the level up. So here, we'll do another skelly level right here. Since you notice since the menu buttons are gone, I can still do an AMG. So AMG, enter, AMG, escape, enter, enter, AMG, and we just hit escape uh, twice. Or you can do escape, enter, but regardless. So here's our next fake level. So we want to fake from 13 to 14. This time we're taking intermediate two up in fighting. So like I did, it's click, click, tab, escape. And so skills don't matter. And for feats, we want to take improved two up in fighting. You have to click OK. Enter key won't work there. Then it's accept. And then close, tab. Yes. And we just have a few levels left, so... Uh, here we are at level 16, and now when we go to 17, we don't swap. If you don't swap, it does a real level, so you just hit escape. And so that way you can go enter, 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 grab your feet, 
Okay, accept, and then all you have to do to get out of here, notice since you're on the hammer, if you hit P, you get swapped back over to the player. If you hit P again, it lets you out. And that's our Skelly Flu. So doing all of that gets you Sneak Attack level 9 and Master 2 Weapon Fighting, which is going to allow us to do some Mongo damage, lots and lots of damage. So here, I'm actually going to quick load. And that should roll us back to where we were with the level up before. And I'm going to do that quite a bit quicker this time. So we AMG. Open the player menu. I'm hitting P by default to get to the player menu, but you should use your hotkey to open it. So yeah, Skelly. Oh, and yeah, if you mess up like that, you gotta make sure you don't. And then just like that, when you get to the level you need to, it's cancel, level up, tab, escape, skip skills, two weapon fighting, okay, okay, close, swap, AMG, enter, AMG, escape, enter, enter, AMG, escape, escape, then it's click, click, tab, escape, enter, 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 enter. Ready, yes? And just like that, that's a simple skelly flu. All right, so yeah, with that out of the way, let's move on to next steps. So we're gonna be shopping at Loreen. This conversation to get to his shop is one, two, four. Once you're in here, we're gonna sell everything. And you should see 672 credits if it, you did the route right. And so you can buy a heavy combat suit. And then you scroll all the way down, and at the very top will be the battle stimulant. And those are the two things we're buying. So heavy combat suit, battle stimulant. You can close, you can get running. Now, uh, I'm going to show you a neat little menu trick. We're going to go through this door. Make sure your mouse is on this side of the screen. So that way, when we get through, I'm going to hit the equipment hotkey, which for me is U. And then we're going to go enter up enter, like so. Right after it loads. U, enter, up, enter. And that will equip the heavy combat suit. And then I can hit escape. And so that's how you do that really quickly. Now we want to take a nice line across the terrace to get towards Zelka's shop right here. As soon as we get to this corner, we're going to activate solo mode. By default, that's by hitting the V key. You should use whatever your hotkey is. We'll double click on the door with the main character and click on that sure. door with Karth. Get through here. Once you're past the corner of this table, you can hit default action, R by default, to talk to Zelka. I did it slightly too early. Here, actually, I'm going to pull out of this conversation real quick to show you what I'm talking about. So if you get right here, there you go. You can talk to him from a distance like that. Anyway, so it's going to be five to uh, enter into his shop. Since I talked to him once, it was four for me. But yeah, five usually. And so for this one, you scroll to the bottom. You need one stam, one strength, and as many alacrities as you can get. If you did the credit route right, you should have two credits remaining. So that should end up with one strength, one stamina, one battle stim, and seven alacrities. So we'll close. To get to the menu, you go one, two, three, four, five. And so you see seven alacrities and the full stim sweep. The main character gets one of each, so you go enter, down, enter, enter, enter. And then Karf needs an alacrity, so you go tab, enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to close this menu, AMG, and we're going to walk him into the door, like so. Oh, okay. I did that AMG very poorly because I'm trying to teach at the same time. Then you, So this is what we call a GP warp or a GIF warp. So you walk him in, you click cancel, hit tab to swap, and then you click the option. And so what that does is, since uh, whenever you walk into a door without your party members nearby, it tries to push you out. But since we swapped to our main character, it teleports him to the pushed out position and not Karth. So it warps him over to the door. So with that out of the way, we're going to swap the Karth, walk forward and flip around, and then AMG on this load-in. So doing that is going to uh, make sure we have this menu right here and we're ready to go. So... Uh, as soon as we get here, we want to flip around with Karth, open this door, and then we're going to click the Options hotkey. 
not escape your options hotkey, which is O by default, so you probably rebound it to something. Because if you hit escape, you're going to cancel your AMG. So opening the uh, options menu with your options hotkey, by default, load game and cancel should already be selected. If that's the case, you can just hit enter. If not, you want to make sure you like highlight them. So anyway, you hit enter, and now you can just unpause and walk forward. And as soon as this loads, you can double click on autosave. So now this brings us here. We're doing our uh, SIF based DLZ. The first thing you want to do is we're going to start by turning uh, VSync off. And then what we want to do is we want to make the save. And we want to save in the fast lane slot. Keep in mind, we use the three save system in this. So our first save is usually our hot shot target. The second save is usually the fast lane save, which is a glitch we'll get to later on. And the third one is usually our backup hotshot target. So we're going to save in fast, fast lane. And then what we're going to do is we are going to open the map and we are going to hit enter to get the party selection. And so we can remove Karth from the party. So what I just did there was whenever you hit the map hotkey and then followed by the enter key. So for me, that's going to be M enter. That opens party select. And so you can click on them and hit enter to remove them quickly. Anyway, so once you have VSync on, a save made, and Karth out of your party, you're ready to do this DLC. So let's talk about this DLC some. If you can see, it's very hard to tell, and hopefully the bitrate on this video is high enough for you to see this. But there's a little dark mark right here on the wall, and you want to try and fit that between the male character's legs while he's walking. So let's look at that now. So there it is. We're going to fit it right in there. And then we're just going to shimmy around it. And hopefully I get it quickly. Sometimes this DLC doesn't like to cooperate. Come on. I'm trying to do a tutorial here. Did remember to turn VSync off, didn't I? Yes, I did. Cool. Uh, I lost the spot, though. That's what I get for looking at my FPS. There it goes. As soon as you get in, I like to click up in the corner before the conversation starts and turn VSync back on. You could do it later in the SIF base. That's up for you. As long as you turn off VSync at some point in here before you hit combat. So you're going to get a conversation. It's going to be 2, 1. By the way, if you're really good about it, you can actually move a little bit in the fade in before the conversation starts to cut out some running. So we're going to be running this way. And this is the part of the game where it's very possible for you to die. We don't want that to happen. So try your best to take short routes and avoid damage. The droids will usually do zero. It's the Sith in here that you have to be worried about. Anyway, so we're going to head through here and we're going to loot this locker. So I'm pausing a lot for just tutorial's sake, but you shouldn't be pausing at all in here. I didn't take any damage, which is great. That's really, really good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head up to this door and we're going to open it. And it's usually two or three saves for this hard buffer. But so yeah, once the door is open, you're going to save two to three times and you're going to load your quick save like so. And be ready to run. So as soon as it loads in, you want to start running because that droid can do a lot of damage. If you looted the locker, you'll be able to go through the elevator and you're here for the Sith. So just to recap a little bit, we... Uh, Entered the Sith base of a DLZ, turned off VSync, ran around the corner, tried to avoid damage, looted the locker in the barracks for the pass card, we did a hard buffer on the door with the assault droid, we ran around the assault droid and into the elevator. And now we're here to wire target the governor. This is a pretty simple glitch. And we're going to approach it as we're going to buffer past him such that we're behind him. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to get him hostile and then load the game for a wire target. And so I'll kind of walk us through this as that happens. So we're going to buffer. Then we get behind him. And we can just mash this conversation. And so you see he's hostile now. So what I can do is I can default action to attack him. I hit quick load. And now I'm going to mash default action right as it loads in. And you see it will queue up some attacks. Since we're behind him, you get sneak attacks. You noticed I did a lot, a lot of damage right there. Actually, I can show you how much damage I did. Yeah, 32 sneak attack damage on that one. And... uh. Like, looks like we did 30 sneak attack damage there. So, lots of damage. As soon as he's dead, you can go ahead and loot his body. Some things to note about that trick. Um, 
If you run out of attacks, you can just uh, click on him to start his conversation again. That'll send him hostile again. And so that'll allow you to get a quick load and try again. Uh, also, if you make a quick save before doing that, you can actually pick up where you left off. Uh, if you don't want to do that, if you take your shirt off and put it back on, you'll get another round of combat if you just need to do like one more hit. So yeah, with all of that out of the way, the governor's dead. Next on the list for us is we're going to make a save in our uh, primary hotshot slot. So, your hotshot hard save. And next we're going to load fast lane. As soon as we're here, we're just going to quick save once. So all you did, I just loaded and I just quick saved once, no big deal. And then we're going to load back to the hotshot save. And while it's loading, you're going to AMG like this. All right. Once you've done that, you're going to hit your options hotkey, which is O by default, to open the options menu. Just like what we did with the autosave hotshot before. This is a uh, regular quick save hotshot. So we call it a quick save hotshot because we made a quick save in the module that we want to go to. So we made the quick save in the upper city north where we want to go. We have our hard save here. And we have our AMG in place, and the options menu is open. So you hit enter to select cancel and load game at the same time, like so. And you're going to have to hit uh, any menu hotkey twice in order to get control of your keyboard. So I usually just double tap the map hotkey like this. Now what I can do is, now that I've done that, I can click quick save, or click quick save. Uh, press quick save, which is F4 by default. And so you see the game saves. And as soon as I've done that, I can double click quick save and load it. And now you see we are right back in the module where we left off uh, in our last location. And so we can immediately spin around and I'm going to turn VSync back off. And we're ready to DLZ into the lower city. So this one is tough to find. There's a few different cues I've used for this. First of all, you kind of want to be slightly to the uh, right of this uh, window pane here. And there's a black line on the ground that we want to look for. So you see this line right here, I'm taking my mouse over. Hopefully your bitrate's not too low to see it. That's just going to be slightly behind the right leg of the male character model. There's a much thinner and harder to see line next to it. That one will be visible between your legs. So let me show that. So here we go. I'm kind of, there we go, just like that. So no big deal at all. And that's the DLZ into the lower city. Now, we're in the lower city, what next? I've run out of water, so this is emergency mode now. All right, so um, if you see this little shadow here on the ground, that's the trigger for the conversation, or the conversation, the cutscene rather, where the black Volkars attack. We don't want to watch that, so we're going to do a moving hard buffer to get past it. So all we're going to do is we're just going to remember move with our uh, by pressing both mouse buttons at the same time, and tap quick save to move through it. Uh, one thing I will note is that uh, a lot of times we recommend running with your like mouse over the uh, options menu like this. This is kind of a newer strat. I'm old fashioned. I don't always do it, but I'm going to show it for just the sake of this. So anyway, you run, tap, 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 and we're past. You click the hammer to open up the menu. And just like any hard save, it's enter, enter, up, enter. Now, what we're going to do is you hit your map key, you hit enter to get the party selection, and you're adding Karth. <laughs> now, there's a couple different ways to do this. A lot of the times we just recommend doing the um, simple, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just the simple Banana Man combat. So, you know, nothing crazy. Um, I will say that this combat kind of sucks because V-Sync is off. You have to do no V-Sync combat, and no V-Sync combat in this game is just frankly bad. So you've been warned. Anyway, your goal is to try and kill these as quickly as possible. I try and bump this guy and get a sneak attack off on him. We'll see if that actually works. Nice, I got the sneak attack, and got the other sneak attack. Awesome, and I didn't get stuck. So now we're going to stick Karth right here. And then we tab away, you see he gets bounced back like that. Now we want to turn solo mode on. You do that by hitting uh, the solo mode hotkey, which is V by default. And you're going to shove the main character in this corner like this. Then you're going to swap, and that's going to get him stuck in the door. Once the main character is stuck in the door, you're going to swap to him again. And now it's just a matter of going quick save and quick load. <laughs> cool. We're in the Volcar base now. Cool. Now that we're in here, what you're going to do is you're going to immediately quick save, swap the Karth, and get out of here. 
Now, this is definitely kind of risky, because you will not be allowed to quick save again until you've hot shotted back to here if you're doing the strat this way. If you're scared about that, then I'd recommend um, making a hard save in here instead and doing the hot shot like that. I'm going to do the quick save method because we're pulling out all the stops for this tutorial. So, quick save, swap Ready. the card, and we're going to leave. Notice I left with Karp there, not the main character. If you leave with the main character, when you do the hot shot later, you're going to be stuck behind the door. So make sure you leave with Karp. We're going to take a nice line right here to reduce the amount of distance we walk. <clears throat> and now, not this panel, but the panel before it, there's this bump right here. And we're going to move slightly to the side of it. We want to position Karp right to the right of it, like so. And that's going to give us... Our DLZ. Cool. Notice I'm walking on all these DLZs. Remember, that's to run walk hotkey, which is B by default. Next, if you see this little nub right here, it might be hard to see on the video, but there's a little bump, <coughs> a little light bump that is sticking up from this panel. We want to fit that between Carf's legs for this next DLZ. By the way, be ready to hit your options menu on this DLZ. So yeah, you kind of just get the bump between his legs and then you shimmy around. Cool. And so we hit the options menu. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to re-enable V-Sync. And it's important that you mash through this cutscene pretty quickly because otherwise Gaddin's going to flip around and not be looking at you. So we're going to get out of the options menu and I'm going to mash through it like so. Who are you? So Gaddin is kind of flipped around, but it's not the end of the world. The goal is to try and get a good sneak attack on him and kill him in one or two rounds, like so. Perfect. That's a flawless Gaddin fight. The second Gaddin's dead, you're ready to get out of here. So what you can do is we're going to save our game in the hotshot slot. While it is saving, we're going to AMG, like this. So it saves and you Alt F4. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. Anyway. Now, make sure load game and cancel are both uh, selected, and we're going to hit enter. And just like an, any other quick save hotshot, we're going to double tap some menu button, save, and load the quick save, like this. Tap, tap, save, load. And we are back in the Volcar base, and Kanden is here to talk to us. You can just mash through this conversation. It's no problem. Make sure you click your mouse a little bit in here. Like it doesn't need to be smashed or anything like that. But if you don't, this conversation to go this conversation, this little scene right here is gonna go on way longer than it needs to. Quick save once and then click the options menu. That's a simple hard buffer. <coughs> so just one quick save, no big deal. Like all hard buffers, it's enter, enter, enter to load. Make sure you're moving your mouse up during that. Now, before we get to the Crescent Desk, we're going to AMG with a quick save. And you're going to stick yourself right here, and you're going to default action the race announcer, like this. Cool. And it's just one to start this conversation. I recommend actually pressing the one key. Don't hit enter, because they're going to cancel your AMG, and you don't want that. Now, that's where well, you want to start the race as soon as you can. And you're going to shift on one. <clears throat> Three, nine, and you're not going to do the fourth shift. And don't miss that boost pad that I just missed. That was bad. Or that boost pad either. This is pretty bad sweep rates. Anyway, now you're going to mash this conversation with click, and as soon as you see on glue, you're going to cancel and quick save, quick load, like this. Cancel, quick save, quick load. Now, so let's recap a little bit. We did a swoop race of an AMG open. The swoop race ended. We mashed through the Athorian conversation with click. As soon as we saw the Twi'lek on glue running up, we hit cancel. I hit cancel by doing numpad enter. You can use whatever in either of the other enter key if you like. And then I quick save and quick loaded. So by default, that's F4, F5. That's going to make... um. It's going to make the variable that says that we have uh, already finished our uh, getting awarded for winning the race uh, not get set. So we can just talk to the Athorian again to win the second race. So this conversation, I'd recommend mashing enter and quick save at the same time. So that you can do a hard buffer like this. Like that. You only really need one save for it because you start in this position you need to be. 
Now, you're not actually going to load for this hard buffer. Instead, we're just going to make a save right here. And now we're going to load the auto save. <clears throat> because we're... Oh, that happens. Uh, the game crashed, probably because I've been going so slow. Anyway, you're going to load the auto save in the lower city. And since this is the destination that we're hot shotting to, we're just going to quick save here. So you quick save where you want to go. And you load the save you want to hot shot from. AMG on the load in. Open your options menu with the options hotkey. And now you're going to select cancel and load game at the same time, just like with every quick save hotshot. You're going to do a menu shift by pressing a menu twice. Save, load quick save. So just that's what we call a quick save hotshot. So we quick save hotshotted back to lower city. And now we're just going to enter into Javier's Cantina. All right. Uh, Candorus's conversation is one, 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 two, one. And so whenever we hit this OK button, we need to be ready to do an AMG. And so this is going to be another free look AMG, just like the one we did for the uh, post escape pod cutscene. So I'll take us through it. It's OK. Alt F4. Unpause the game by hitting your unpause button. Cancel and then free look twice. So that's uh, for cancel. I hit enter and for free look my default. That's caps locks. Now we need to AMG again, <clears throat> unpause to start the conversation. We're going to mash with click. The conversation is one, one. We select cancel, save, load. So Davik's conversation again. We On the load in for Davik's base, we AMG'd. We made sure to hit one twice. So the two conversation options, one, one. After both of those are done, you're safe to just save and then load. And we're able to save and load by canceling the AMG. So I did enter the cancel, F4 to save, F5 to load by default. <clears throat> now, we're off to Dantooine. So we have one final glitch here. We click board Evan Hawk. We can mash this conversation. Keep your mouse up here, uh, slightly between like the maximize and X at the top of the window. And be ready to click after the... Uh, load menu. You can mash click if need be. Let's get this ship. Like so. And that's going to open the map. This is what we call a map CS skip. This was found by Glasnog years and years ago. And all you do is you basically skip a cutscene with the map. So you just click it before it starts and then you return to Ebonhawk like this. And that's going to put us here on Dantooine. And that is our Paris tutorial. So we're on Dantooine. To recap, all the things we did is we got to Terrace, we equipped some gear, we did the Skelly Flu, we bought some drugs, we GP warped over to uh, the Ever City North entrance, we used an autosave hotshot to teleport halfway across to Ever City North, we DLZ'd into the Sith base, we uh, ran to the governor, we wire targeted the governor to kill him, we hotshotted back to the Upper City North, we DLZ'd into the Lower City, we buffered past the Volcar encounter. We clipped and DLZ'd into the Volcar base. We saved in there. We ran and DLZ'd into the Beck base, and then again DLZ'd into Gaddon's office. Killed Gaddon. Hotshotted back to the Volcar base. Uh, mashed Candon's conversation. Buffered the Thorian mechanics conversation. Did the swoop race. Hotshotted back to the lower city using the autosave. Entered Javier's cantina. Talked to Candorus. Skipped the terrorist destruction cutscene. Cut skipped past half of Davik's introduction cutscene that's warp us to the Evan Hawk, and then map CS skipped when going to Dantooine. And that's all that is to Terrace, which is honestly the largest chunk of this run. So yeah, that's uh, any percent unrestricted for Terrace. <clears throat>